Dozens of animal and reptile enthusiasts of all ages gathered in Kentville, Nova Scotia on Saturday to get up close and personal with creatures of all different sizes, thanks to Little Ray's Reptile Zoo. So we are Little Ray's Reptile Zoo, and this particular event is represented by our Ottawa our head office. We have three locations across the country, one in Hamilton, one in Ottawa, those are both our nature centers, and we have uh, a local franchise here in Halifax as well, uh, and we service all of Atlantic Canada from, from Nova Scotia. And one of the most desirable animals at the exhibit in Kenville was a sloth named Linus. So this guy is Linus, and Linus is a two-toed sloth. He's about uh, one year, three months old. Uh, and he came to us from a uh, breeding facility in Florida. These guys have been bred in, facil bred in that facility for up to seven years for captivity. Uh, and they're, they're there for captive uh, breeding reasons. So they help with zoological populations. But they also help as ambassador animals for all the creatures from the rainforest that require representation. He's cute. He's fuzzy. People really, uh, they flock to see him. And uh, that way we can kind of get our, our message across as well. Another crowd favorite at Little Ray was a great horned owl named Max. And you might be a little disturbed by what this fella likes for lunch. So this guy here is Max. Uh, Max here is a great horned owl. And these guys are actually native to parts of Canada. You can find them right here in your own backyard. Uh, so these guys, believe it or not, it used to be skunks. Uh, but now... It Unfortunately, it has become um, cats, domestic cats that live outside. Uh, so that's one reason you want to keep your cat inside. Um, but yeah, number one food for these guys now is, is the average house cat, unfortunately. And from slithering serpents to beautiful budgies, Little Ray's Reptiles, whose goal is to get you up close and personal with a wide variety of their animals and reptiles so you can have a better view of what they look like and how they feel. Little Ray's Reptiles Zoo, we pride ourselves in as much physical hands-on as we can possibly do. It's the best way to learn, really. Uh, we, we like to interact with as many people as possible, and uh, we always have a great environmental and educational uh, message that we try to get along. Stuff that a family can do to, to help the world around them. And whether you prefer snakes, lizards, birds, or even a little sloth named Linus, there's a variety of different animals and reptiles for the whole family to enjoy here at Little Rays. And if you'd like more information on any of their upcoming events, or just on Little Rays Reptile Zoo in general, you can find them on Facebook at Little Rays Reptile Zoo, Nova Scotia. Reporting in Campo, Nova Scotia for Ian Swinimer Reports, I'm Ian Swinimer, and thanks for watching.